Hello, good evening, and welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, New York by Night. We continue our story about a coterie of fledgling anarch vampires in the Bronx with Season 1, Episode 5, Darkness Clings. Let's meet our vampires who are clinging to the darkness. I'm Alex Ward. I play Isaac Brooke Azamitsi. I'm Mayana Baron. I play Seraph, the mischievous Ravnos. <laughs> I'm Abria Iyengar, playing Fuego, the... We're gonna go with Spicy again, Ben Chiru. And I'm Joey Rasul. I'm playing Ray, the corporate gangrel. I'm Jason Carl, your storyteller, and a special guest will be joining us at a dramatically appropriate moment. Now let me dramatically thank some special friends. Black Magic Design for the cameras that bring us to you in these beautiful unliving colors. Renegade Game Studios, who make sure that we have our hunger dice ready at a moment's notice. And Dogmite Games for our beautiful storyteller screen and the dice trays and dice boxes that our vampires are using. As a prologue, let's return to that blood-soaked layer cake we keep talking about. And the cake represents the unlife of the kindred, and we focused on the bottom tier and on the middle tier, because that is where many vampire stories happen. But we would be remiss if we did not mention the very top level of the cake, the highest tier. The kindred up here get a view like no other. They can see out over the whole puzzle. They can see the whole board and all its pieces. And they can get a glimpse of how the whole thing fits together. Now, these are the rarefied tastes at this level of the cake, the hidden flavors. These kindred stand on the backs of everybody else and they're often unseen. They watch the watchers. They pull the puppet strings from up here, and their heads are above the black clouds of the city. And the only thing they really have to worry about is the heat of the sun melting away everything, right? That is until the kindred on the other layers of the cake figure out what's really going on and who's up there and what they're doing. Then, all bets are off. With this firmly in mind, let's tell a vampire story. Let us make no mistake. The kindred are singular monsters. They have powers and problems that no other inhabitant of the world of darkness has. An eternal struggle over 
a long-desired haven that plays out over a decade, a refinement of the vitae burned in the crucible of undead flesh manifesting itself in a refinement of supernatural powers or the dredging up of long-forgotten memories. A fight in a back alley where the only thing doing more damage than the slashing blades and tearing fangs are the endless insults and razor-sharp wit. All these are part of their own lives. They dwell in a nocturnal world where a social slight can literally invoke a frenzy, where a chess game over resources can play out over the course of a thousand nights. We're moving a single piece on that chessboard. At the right time, in the right direction, can change all the stakes and a hair's breadth of a moment. The challenge, of course, is that many kindred do not see most of these moves, if they even perceive the board at all, until it is almost too late. Our coterie has had some very interesting nights recently. They have fought a monster, a creature, a ravening thing on the streets of the South Bronx. They have met Cat Costello of Clan Hakata, and they've received an opportunity from Cat to make the whole Putinesca problem go away. And they've learned some things about themselves and some surprising things about one another as well. So, let's return to our coterie the night after your meeting with Kat Costello and her friend, Frankie the Skull. Let's begin with your hunger. So, everyone should break a rouse check. Check for hunger to see if you woke up tonight hungrier than you were when the sun came up. I am uh, Isaac? I'm at two. You're at two hunger. I'm at three. You got hungry when you woke up tonight. Yep. Oh, delicious. Margo? Hungrier. At Hungrier. <laughs> mm, what, well, you're at three yeah. hunger? <sighs> I can feel the frisson of excitement. Will you feast? Will you give me what I want? Calm down. Look good. Yes, but calm down. And Ray. Hungrier at three. Hungrier at three. <laughs> Back here again. My next question then is before you gather to take care of the night's business, do you hunt first? Or do you show up? as you are. Let's start at the opposite end of the table this time and I'll ask Ray the question. I think this would be an excellent opportunity to start talking a little bit about some pack tactics and working together as a coterie and understanding mm -hmm what everyone's good at and what everybody uh, brings to the table. Do Hopefully. I take it to understand then, do I understand correctly then that you do not hunt for blood before you meet with them? That you arrive at hunger three? No, I'm talking about potentially going and hunting as a pack. Let's hold that thought. What about Margo? Oh, you know what? I'm fine. Uh, this is fine. I don't have to hunt. We're great. This is great. Gonna roll with it. Yeah. We're good. I'm good. How exciting, my love. Anything to keep your voice in my ear just a little more. Just remember you said that. What about Seraph? Ray, I could eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's go see what we can find then. I like that. And Isaac. 
He absolutely fed before they got there. Absolutely <laughs> fed before they got that. Please make a uh, let's uh, let's go with your predator type and make it um, either strength and intimidation or manipulation and intimidation, whichever you choose. Would I get a specialty for my or a dice absolutely. for my specialty in coercion? Yeah. After if you're using it, yes, you yes. Do, yes you do. So you'd add an extra die for that. Do, 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 do. I know we're all we're all waiting to Oof. see what happens. Uh, two successes. Two successes. More than enough. More than enough to uh, extort the blood you need. How many hunger dice do you remove? Just one. Just one. So that'll put you at one. One. Okay. Seraph mm -hmm. and Ray. Mm -hmm. Gonna hunt together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have similar predator types? Let's see. I know that Ray likes to. Uh, Wait, are you guys going hunting without hunt me? Hunt fresh. You said you were good. I. Okay. You want to come and just watch? That feels weird when you say it like that. But yes. Mm hmm. Ray is a alley cat mm -hmm. type. You like to overpower your prey and mm -hmm. hunt fresh. I'm a scene queen. You like to uh, feed among those who know your fame. Yeah. I've got those friends. And Margot prefers a more intimate way yeah. to slake the hunger. You do have friends. You have friends that you can call on who will willingly give you what you need. Yeah. No hunt necessary. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you're willing to share? Takes a bit of the fun out of it, but uh, it seems fine. I really don't want to ruin Ray's fun. <laughs> you know what? I may be trying to cut down on fun a little bit. I respect that. I can make a call. You can make a call? Yeah. I call. Would, would Blue Spam and Quark be uh, willing tonight? They are always ready to drop everything for you fabulous they are totally down for it um it's blue who answers the phone hey fuck your life hey fuck your bing life bong. bing bong what's up <laughs> ah, i uh i'm feeling a little famished oh playtime playtime indeed yeah. and i have a little paint project that i uh could use a little help on as well if you're interested so up for it fabulous time and place Tonight, yeah, uh, you can hear the uh, sound of uh, spray paint cans being shaken in the background. Shuka, 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 shuka. Oh, what are you guys working on? Uh, something special, you'll see. It's oh, a surprise. It's, it's a surprise for you. For me? Mm hmm. Oh, I cannot wait yeah. to see that. So, um, playtime soon. Playtime soon. Um, meet me. Can I say in front of the psychic parlor at Port Morris? You can say anywhere you like. Psychic parlor. Whoa, that place is weird. I know. Yeah, who I need, love it. Who has silver furniture? I mean, who would have a silver couch? That's just strange. That is really strange. Yeah. Anyway, hmm. yeah, we'll we'll see you there. Fabulous. And that is where you meet mm -hmm. your friends. Mm -hmm. Before we meet them there, you know, if we're waiting for them a little bit, take a look over at the alley at Dooley's and say, "Hey, actually, I've got an idea." Yeah. Real quick. Do you mind? Do you mind being bait for something real quick? I love being bait for something. See that? Stop that. What? Look. You've offered to be bait more than once now. You've offered yourself. You've offered your story of how you gave your last breath willingly, and when you were willing to paint someone's uh, club, you brought it up to them like you were, like they were doing you a favor. Okay. Look, I'm not telling you to not be a nice person, but just. I'm not a nice person. Just keep in mind what you're worth. <laughs> I don't think you're the person who should be telling me about self-worth. You know what, I'll take the criticism on that. Just don't, keep it in mind. 
A lot of kindred society does run on the acquiring and dishing out of favors, though, so keep that in mind. Don't give anything for free if you don't have to. Why do we gotta keep stuff? Why can't we just... Because you will be at a supreme disadvantage if you are the only one not keeping things, because everyone else is. Maybe I don't like keeping things. Enjoy the rest of your own life. I plan to, so. Three willing vessels. Mm -hmm. Three vampires. <laughs> Spam, Quirk, and Blue are into it. And mm. because it's you who's asking, they'll share. I'm glad. The question Thank you. is, of course, how much hunger do you satisfy? How much do you take? Two. Take two away, so I'll it leaves you two. one hunger. Are they f just a quick, you know, dietary check? Are they from the Bronx? Two of them are. Okay, sure. Uh, dibs on spam. <laughs> two. That's all a, yours. Thank two you. for you as well. Three vampires feeding in the shadows. It's somehow more satisfying to know that the place in which you are feeding belongs to you. This is your neighborhood, your territory, your turf, your domain. You are the rulers of the night here. Mm. And everything in it belongs to you. Mm. Somehow it's just more satisfying that way. When it's over, the mortals are of course a little, a little woozy, a little dizzy. Hey, you good? Always good. You always make it good. Thank you. You always make it good, too. Spam is a little reluctant to say goodbye, but, you know, we got a project. Yes. Will you tell me about it? Well, you said you had something you wanted done. I did. Mm. I've got my eye on this nice, big, empty space. Big brick wall mm -hmm. um, and under it I want to put we suck but in big fancy gothic font yeah can it be dripping with blood drops yes awesome it's can like you and little, I share a put brain teeth in the in, oh, uh, they start to talk together excitedly about I like this. when they this get the fantastic. wheel spinning like that it's good. we're on the job Perfect. we got this we'll make you proud you won't regret it great use the stencils by the way that I cut and I pull out some backpack full of plastic it'll go fast and then the police won't catch you they take the stencils and with a quick kiss on the cheek they make their way out to start the project they are so cute how any of you enjoy feeding without like just just feeding not for me not my favorite hmm but it's fine it's fine. It's fine. Is it? Yeah. I don't have to do that every time. It's fun. Anyway. Mm. On to Isaac's then. Oh, yeah. Or do you have any stops to make along the way? I gotta go check on a trash can. Mm -hmm. I'll catch up. There was wishy washy. Okay. <laughs> sure. So you make a detour. Mm hmm to a trash can, a certain trash can, a certain park, in a certain part of your territory. Hmm. Well, the park is vacant. There are people on the streets nearby, but no one in the park proper. And it's a small little patch of grass that is struggling to grow hmm. with one tree bare limbs at this time of year. The trash can is next to a park bench. The wood of the bench is almost completely obscured by years of carvings into the surface. And they overlap one another. It's almost impossible to s tell what any of them mean anymore. Hmm. You have to sift in the garbage can for it. Not hmm. a lot of fun. But you do find it eventually near the bottom in an old potato chip bag. It's a good disguise. 
who would look? Hmm. Inside is a small leather bound journal. Paging through it quickly, you can see that the writing is in a language that is not immediately familiar to you. It could be a regular language and you just need, you know, Google Translate or it might be something more complicated. There are diagrams here and there too, pictures and sketches of people and places. And there's a sticky note on the inside cover. And it says, See you soon. XO, XO, and the letter A. You know his handwriting. I take it, and uh, I look at the park bench, and I, uh, I spray paint it gold. You spray paint the park bench mm -hmm. gold. Mm -hmm. shuka, 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 shuka. Just covering up all those paint flecks and carvings. They're still visible under the paint, but now they're a uniform, gilded hue. And then I go. And then you go. Let us move the scene then Can I actually to talk Isaac's. to Ray on the way back to Isaac's? I don't see why you couldn't. Walk with me? Or do you have to go see a park about a trash can, too? You know, I do have some business in the park tomorrow night, but no, we can, okay. we can talk. Um, you were mentioning earlier that we should talk about the things that we're good at, you know, for like the good of the group. Uh, I think maybe I should take point with Richter from now on. We have an understanding and you get on his nerves. That seems fine. Yeah. Yeah, you can go off and spend your time there. That's no problem. Okay. The fuck is this? What is this energy? Look, I just... I have a hard time... I want to say that I have a hard time trusting you, and that's not the case. I have a hard time trusting myself around you. Oh. And I, <laughs> I don't know what that means, and I am fascinated by what you do. I am goddamn jealous of what you do, but I don't know who you're doing it to. I don't know if you are genuinely someone that we like and enjoy being around or there's something that's telling us to. Okay. Because I've watched people flip in front of you from hating you to loving you. No one's ever hated me, but I get what you're saying. Look, if I wanted to whammy you, I just would. And I want to use awe right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Requires no rouse check. You simply use it. You will yourself to be preternaturally attractive, alluring, and convincing. I'm going to go ahead and use Unswayable Mind. Hmm. Huh. Unswayable Mind. Fortitude power. So for this scene, you are supernaturally charming and you are supernaturally resistant to charm. They both require <laughs> roles if you want to use them. No, I think it's fine for now. Okay, I see you're stealing yourself against me. Do you hate me? And I get closer. Look, 
I just... Answer the question. <sighs> no. I don't hate you. But I don't answer questions so readily for a lot of people. Okay. Noted. Maybe you just like me. I'm very likable. Yeah, maybe... Maybe that's all it is. Who could say? And I drop off and turn and keep walking. Let's now move the scene <laughs> to Isaacs, to the brownstone by the East River that has quickly become the usual gathering spot, the headquarters, as it were, possibly the clubhouse of the Coterie. What's happening there tonight? Uh, hello, welcome, everybody. Good to see you. Good evening. Hi. Hello. I assume you all took care of yourselves before showing up. I've yet to uh, think of a way to serve refreshments yet. Okay. Other than uh, complicated ways. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. So, last night was something, wasn't it? Mm. Holy shit. Look, I, I mean, I kind of understood what happened, but did we fight a zombie? No. Are you sure? No. Oh. Um, what the exact words that were said to us were it was a sabot experiment gone wrong, but that is very vague and doesn't necessarily give us any answers more than we had already and could ne not necessarily be true. The problem is, is the sabot were here a long time ago with the f war and everything, and I'm sure there are a lot of things left under these streets that uh, were there because of them. So it doesn't necessarily mean anything new is happening. It could just be old things that were disturbed by the making of that building. And again, I just want to put on the table, we could level the buildings maybe. I, I like don't know. that, yeah, but. I want to do that one. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is something we could do, but we could also have a lot of negative consequences come our way for doing mm. it. Sure. It feels like you always negate whatever somebody else just said. Yeah. You ask a lot of questions. Yes. Is that wrong? No, it's not. It's just weird. Hmm. I'm just saying, the consequences for leveling a building, even in the Bronx, are a lot. If we are to be found out. And we do have to get underneath said building yeah. to find said skull. Oh, Captain Charlie, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Do we trust that cat can keep the Putinescus off our back? No. Well, she thinks she can. Okay. That's as much as we can trust. Yeah. She also stopped us from stopping that thing just to tell us that she didn't know what it was. Yeah. So I don't trust her judgment all that. No, yeah, I'm only that. trusting what she said when I forced her to say the, the truth. Yeah, for by the way, that was good. great. Yeah. Well. Never seen you like that before. You know, different things for different people. We find this skull. She thinks she can keep the Putinescas off her back, which is as good as we're going to get, considering we do not have a quarter or half a million to pay off the debt. That's true. Not right now. So, are there any other creative solutions you all can think of other than just, just going and looking for this skull? I wonder if we can leverage some more negotiation with, if we get it. Maybe we can ask for a little bit more than what she's offering. That is fair. That is something we can probably do. Yeah. Mm. I'm sure Ray would come in handy in that aspect. Mm. How's your soup, by the way? Uh, this is a new one. Mm. Didn't you also get thrown into, like, the overpass? Oh, right. I should probably do something about that. Hmm. Hey, every mm. time we go out, you get hurt. I'm just putting it out there. I guess that is true. You have taken some superficial damage in the fight against the whatever it was. Mm -hmm. 
Is that something that you want to uh, deal with? Well, let's see. Yes. Given your blood potency, <laughs> you can heal, I believe it's one with every rouse check. Is that right? Yes, it is. So you are suffering from three? I, I fed, so now I'm at one again. I know. But oh, but I'm are, suffering from three damage, your, correct. Your health. Yes. You had three superficial. Yes. So you can heal as many as you want, and regardless of the results of the hunger check, okay. of the rouse check, the wounds will heal. Okay. But you may get hungry. You want to try all three at once or one at a time? Let's do all three at once. Mm. Living okay. dangerously. Yeah. I've got two. I'll also make an attempt to heal one. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need, to, do we need to call a, a spam and cork again? Hmm? So you, uh, fortunately, fortunately, you can't get a bestial failure on a rouse check. But mm-hmm. it, how many failures are there all time? Three. Three. Mm-hmm. So, calling upon the power of your vitae, you successfully knit and mend the broken tissues and the uh, shredded tendons and whatever displaced bones back together again. Feels good. Mm-hmm. You uh, make some of those weird snap, crackle, pop noises, you know, like when you used to go to the chiropractor. But you gain three hunger for a total of four. four. My dear, (laughs) I'm famished. Mm -hmm. So either call your little friends back and let's see if they're good to the last drop this time or maybe uh maybe mr ray or miss margo would oblige us somebody's getting picky i'm hungry Mm. maybe you should stay that way we'll see who gives in first (laughs) <laughs> Are you feeling all right? You look like shit. I appreciate the honesty. Mm-hmm. You just... You're hungry, aren't you? <sighs> I don't think I've ever been this hungry before. <sighs> oh. You don't need to do everything all at once. Take things slow. You can live with a little bit of pain. But... Considering how you look now, you should feed. Mm. And we are not good choices. Wait, is that on the table? Don't feed on me. Yeah, can she, wait, can she do that? Is that a thing? Mm. You can absolutely feed on another kindred. Oh my God, if that was an option, then shit. Do you have that here. bag? Do you still have what? that bag? No, no, no. Don't, what? Do you still have that bag? Oh yeah, hold on. Uh, hey, refriger- uh, unrefrigerated blood that's like a week and a half old. <laughs> I hand her a scab in a bag. <laughs> well, at one time, it was a medical bag full of human blood, but it's been in her giant purse, as Margot says, for a week. It is possible that if you squeeze it and maybe even lick the insides out, mm-hmm. you might take away a hunger die. Okay. At best. I'm like cracking and popping it like a glow stick. Like, hold on, just give me like a second. I don't like my saya very much, so I kind of want to do this. It smells rank. That's fine. But it's still blood. I'll take it. You'll take it. Well, fortunately for you, it does satisfy one hunger die. And you can decrease your hunger from the very dangerous and risky level of four down to three, which is where you started this evening. (laughs) Ain't Uh, that always the way, huh? How could you? Tasty? I understand that you dislike me, but really. (laughs) This, this is disgusting. Did we not just have a conversation about self-worth and I offer her up my wrist? Hold on. 
Now, I apologize. Go ahead, Mark. No, go ahead. Uh, yo, really quick. You know stuff about, is this, that feels, you're it's making not, a face. Mm. It is a means to an end more than a convenient way of feeding. I want to do it. Yeah, nope. don't do it every time, just like special occasions and stuff like that. This is. It won't happen again. This is prime rib right here. Look, I'm usually not one to discourage anyone's path down. Um, you discourage me from leveling buildings all the time. So go ahead and keep just talking. Right in the pocket. Look, if you feed on him, you will be bound to him to a certain extent. Are we already bound to each other? The same way you're bound to your sire. You will feel um, beholden to him more than you may do just by knowing someone. It is a way to control other kindred. The same way that I gave my blood to my associates here, it has a similar effect. Argos certainly never covered this in Fledgling 101. So each one of us is at least a little bit bound to the person who made us, which is why we may have complicated feelings for that person. Oh. But by all means, you can do it if you feel a particular need to give yourself over to Ray. I'm not going to tell you not to, but I just wanted you to know all the details before you went in. You can resist it. You can work towards it not happening again, but if repeated feedings happen, then there can be problems. Fine, never mind. Unfortunately, taking more blood from your friends so soon could be risky to them and their health. So, there's plenty of people outside. Well, we can just go pay Drexler a visit. He's got a couple more bags. It's also people. We could just find people. I want to get a move on. Well, then why don't we go investigate this building and on the way we'll pick you up a snack? Huh? Seems like a much safer option. We don't need to all be bound to each other. Is this some place that you want Michael to drive you? Do you Is have it? a particular place you want to go? Um, could we go, could we go by the dive bar? Yeah, we'll stop by the dive bar. Bullies? Yeah. Ew. Hmm. So do I understand that you are sharing the vehicle together, and that your ultimate destination is the Skull Place. Mm. Well, if that's where we all want to go this evening. Or someplace else. Yeah, we can knock that out yeah. pretty quickly, right? Or is, hope so. is this merely a stop on the way to that, or do you have another destination in mind? I believe we're stopping at Dooley's and then heading towards the condominium that is being built. The Crescent. The tower. The Crescent, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's driving. What about Angela? She can come in the car, but we don't need her to come in the building with mm -hmm. us yet, unless there's a problem. I'd prefer her not to be in danger. So a full vehicle, then? Yes. Your employees, your ghouls, of course, respond with alacrity and very quickly you are all driving in the direction of Dooley's dive bar. It's not far. Again, your neighborhood isn't vast. You can drive from one end to the other in 10-15 minutes tops. So it's a short ride. What happens at the dive bar, Seraph? I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna see if there's Anybody by themselves? More than a few. This is the kind of place where every drink is you know, generally mixed with a healthy dose of uh, pathos. Okay. 
Um, anybody, anybody on the youngest side? Hmm. Several. Okay. Um, That's what you're in the mood for? Yeah, somebody about my age. Or I was before. Somebody about your age. Somebody about your age when you were embraced. Yeah. Mm. It's not difficult to locate such a person. Mm-hmm. He's very happy to be talking to you. Yeah. A lot of people are. Um, you from around here? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> didn't think anybody used that line, but yeah. I'm, I'm old-fashioned, I guess. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm yeah. totally into old-fashioned stuff. M'lady. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get out of here? Yeah, I'm a lady. Great. I grab him by the collar and I take him to the alley. This is a different kind of old-fashioned. I pin him against the wall. I like it, though. And I tell him, <laughs> you're very lucky that I'm very desperate this evening. Is that a compliment? Yes. I don't. doesn't sound like a... He and, and I, uh, I, I bite his neck. Whoa, not even a kiss <laughs> first. His shoulders sag and he lets his weight fall against the wall behind him as you drink. For the second time tonight, filling that deep, dark, empty place inside you with fresh living blood. He tastes like cigarettes and ambition. Hmm. You can feel suddenly or sense this young man wants things in life. Hmm. You take how many dice away? Two. Two again, reducing your hunger back to one. When you retract your fangs and close the wound in the traditional fashion. His eyes flutter open. Whoa. That's the, the, I mean, I don't know if that's old fashioned, but it's fashioned. It's old fashioned. Yeah. Wow. Um, What's your name? Who cares? I care. Um, uh, Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. And you are, uh, you who? Serif. Serif. Like the font. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd like a good Verdana myself, but okay. I give him my card. I pat him on the, uh, I slip it into the pocket of whatever shirt he's wearing, tap it, and I say, thank you so much. Hi, I feel weird. Yeah, I would sit down if I were you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you going to come back here? Yeah, I live around here. Yeah, me too. I'll call you. Great. Or text you or whatever. Call me. Okay. That's old-fashioned. Yeah, it is. Ooh, I don't feel well. It's okay. Go sit down. He returns unsteady on his feet to inside the dive bar. And you can rejoin your associates if you wish. Yeah, I said I go back to the car. Feel better. Sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks for helping. Nothing. I just say I don't like doing stuff that way. Mm. We all have our preferred methods and don't always get to use them. Yeah. Where to, sir? Ah. What was the building called again? The Crescent. The Crescent. To the Crescent. Not far. Pulls away from the curb. You were really going to let me feed from you? Look, I didn't know that it was going to be this intense bonding thing that it turns out it's gonna be. Yeah. But, but you were gonna let me just because? If you, if any of you need it, then yeah, but you know, it seems like that's gonna be more of a back pocket card. It is definitely an emergency button. Hmm. Thank you. Michael drives in the direction of the East River. The route takes you under the Major Deegan Expressway, and he takes the route that he took last night. He 
you go below the very underpass where you fought the thing, the creature. It's not here now. And the lights of the Crescent, luxury condominiums, the best amenities in the new Sobro loom large in front of you. And this is an excellent place to pause our vampire story for now. Hey everyone, I'm Yev, uh, here from New York City now. Uh, Victor sent me out here to do some tech work for a friend of his. I haven't quite met up with them yet, but, uh, but either way, very exciting to be sent on the location. Uh, now back to the blazing uh, Big Apple, as they call it. Lots of fun things about the, uh, the Big Apple. Uh, it's, got, it's got apples, uh, they're huge. Uh, the, the nice thing about it is I, I tend to retain my memory out here. Back on the West Coast, uh, I would lose entire days, uh, which was super strange uh, and, and very weird. Uh, but Victor never seemed to be bothered by that in my, my memory lapses, so that was good. Uh, it didn't affect my employment, uh, which is great. I uh, love everything about it, uh, I guess. And well, anyway, now that we're out here in the Big Apple, uh, I'm, uh, I'm helping some of his friends, uh, or at least I'm supposed to be, hopefully soon, uh, when they reach out. But um, I wanted to, to tell you uh, the same thing that I'm going to tell them, which is, uh, if you go to backblaze.com slash NY by night, that's N-Y-B-Y-N-I-G-H-T, you can start a free trial of Backblaze. We'll back up everything on your computer. It's your movies, photos, music, videos, contracts, covenants, I don't know, things that are important to fancy business people like Victor and I'm sure everyone out there uh, as well. And you'll have a copy of it available to you wherever you are, uh, maybe on your computer, maybe on your phone, maybe on your other mobile devices, iPads? I don't know. Something. Anyway, go to backblaze.com slash NY by night, N-Y-B-Y-N-I-G-H-T. Give yourself a free trial. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm Yev, by the way. Uh, don't know if we've met, but uh, I'm canon. Uh, Victor says that all the time. I'm not quite sure what that means, but, uh, but that's who I am. And we'll see you next time.
Welcome back to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle New York by Night, Season 1, Episode 5, Drawing Darkness. And the darkness is drawing close indeed for our coterie as they arrive at a construction site. And it shares many features in common with construction sites all over the world. There is heavy machinery that is idle at this late hour. Giant cranes, earth-moving equipment, bulldozers, trucks of various description. There is a lot of raw earth that's been churned up by the giant, almost monstrous treads of these machines. And right on the riverside, on the bank itself, is rising this huge, vast, luxurious palace made up of when it is finished, even smaller luxurious palaces. There are large signs everywhere advertising the construction company, the financial institutions that are funding the project, advisories to wear hard hats. And yes, on the far side, closest to the river, furthest from you, there is a crane operating and there are construction workers laboring late into the night. Very unusual. That makes things more difficult. Hmm. It isn't impossible, of course, but it's expensive to keep crews operating 24-7, especially in New York City, even in the Bronx. And, of course, there are safety issues. From where you've parked, outside the chain-link fence that surrounds the whole project, you don't see any other people at this time, just the distant little figures of the laborers working to move pipe, paneling, concrete, lumber, high up atop the rising towers. Now, it is very possible that we will not be able to find any way to enter into the lower levels of this. We might have to go into the sewer system or something to find a way to get underneath here. Um, but it w- behooves us to check it out. Ew. Yes, ew. Unfortunately, there are still workers here, so that's going to make things a little difficult in the not being seen department. Are there any animals around? That's an interesting question. You're strolling around, perhaps, looking for a natural uh, way in through the chain link fence, unless you tend to jump over it. Hmm. There are always rats, of course, in a city of this size, and they're not difficult to find. Mm -hmm. There is also, as you notice, improbably, a single crow sitting on top of the chain link fence, watching you with what seems like intent curiosity. Hmm. Now, corvids are very intelligent birds, and... They use tools. They can reason. They generally do not fly at night. Hmm. Okay. So, there's a crow over there. Crows are smart. They might know some stuff, but I'm a little fuzzy right now. Are there any specific questions that would be helpful in this situation that I should ask it? Um, I would ask if it I mean, I don't know if a crow would pay attention, but if it knows of a way to get underground, and has it seen anything, has it seen any bones? Okay, I'd like. Think, would there anything else? Anything else? All right, I'd like to activate feral whispers. You're going to talk to it. Yes. You're going to speak its language. Mm -hmm. The language of the corvids, which is of course involves a lot of cawing and croaking and strange noises. They have a surprisingly big vocabulary. What do you want to ask it? I want to ask it, um... And did you make your rouse check? I did not yet, no. I don't get hungry. <laughs> hmm? Um, hello. Do you, do you spend a lot of time here? course, what you all hear is Seraph making crow noises. 
And the crow responds in the same language. You, of course, hear it differently. Hello yourself. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Uh, have you been hanging out here much recently? Nope. No, you knew? Food? <sighs> what are you hungry for? Eyes. Eyes. Huh. That's, that's challenging. Um, how about, uh, what else do you eat? Can't, I don't, I don't think I can promise you eyes. And I don't want to lie to you because I respect you. Wait. 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 It flaps its wings, flies into the construction site. And a few moments later, it returns. But it's riding on the shoulder of somebody that you don't recognize. What do they see coming out of the darkness on the other side of the fence? You see someone with a big red coat and fluffy um, collar. Their head is tilted down and all you see is the top brim of a bit of a cowboy hat. Um, they're short, and they walk with a bit of a swagger. And then they lean up. Well, this is new. You picked the wrong crow. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Okay. And I, my friend I, said you were asking questions. Uh-huh. Not it disrespectfully, if No, not. no, 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 please. Th look, I'm not looking for a fight. This is fun. Who oh. are you? I'm Serif, like the font. Nice. Yeah. I'm Bree. Bree. Nice to meet you, Bree. I'm Isaac. There's a lot of you. Fuego. Ray. Hi. Um, do you live here? No. Good. <laughs> do you? No. If I'm trespassing, don't mind me. Does this technically fall within our territory? It does. Mm. It is technically our territory, though. Oh, apologies. I was just sort of uh, climbing around. Love a good construction site, you know? Yeah, I do. <laughs> How long have you been here? Tonight? Or have you visited other nights? No, no, first time. About an hour, just fishing around. For what? Fun. Hmm. Okay, I kind of like her, though. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Have you seen any, um, points of entrance underground. Sure, there's loads of stuff under the city. I mean, in this site specifically. Hmm. Have I? I yeah. yeah <laughs> I, Hell yeah, I have. <laughs> it's, uh, it would be almost impossible not to have underground access points in a project like this. Yeah. There's, of course, the underground parking garage that they're building. There's all the tunnels and, um, rooms there have to build under the site as conduits for plumbing and mm -hmm. electrical and maintenance access. Yeah. This is a skeleton. There's lots of ways in. Great. That's good to know. Would you mind showing us? Am I invited along for whatever's going on? Can I use awe again? You can always use awe. It's a free night. The, uh, the power, of course, happens uh, automatically. It doesn't require a rouse check, and it lasts for the entire scene. So, before your very eyes, she becomes more alluring. Unswayable mind. Mm. You can sense the resistance, even though you are not actively trying to influence her emotions. Yeah. It isn't impossible, but you'd have to work for it. <sighs> I love working. All right, well, why didn't you say so? Tonight's gonna be a party. <laughs> so, down we go. Yes, if you'd be willing to assist us, that would be lovely. All right, hey toots, shall we? And I pick up the, the crow and just send him off uh, to lead the way. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. The, clo the crow uh, flies to the end of the chain link fence where there's a section that isn't quite linked together that you can easily slip through. Ah. Hmm. I open it for you all. Thank you. I've learned my lesson traveling with you three. <laughs> Code comes Probably off. Probably a good idea. Leave this here. You're just going to hang it on the fence? Yeah, just on the inside of the fence. Hmm. I'd take any valuables from inside of it, though. Yeah. Hmm. You guys are smart. Thank How long have you owned this place? About a week. Huh. Well, congratulations. Over the threshold we go. Hmm. Hmm. The construction site ground is, of course, mostly still fresh dirt. If you're wearing awesome shoes, they won't be awesome very long here. Oh, God man. damn it. This sucks. Where did you think we were going? I don't know. Hmm. Not through mud and bullshit. Hmm. The crow, seeing that you have given yourself access to the construction site, does as asked and flies in the direction of the skeleton of what will one day be a building. Well, I'm curious to know, did you just see this place and decide it was going to be fun to explore? Yeah, uh, I tend to like buildings that are pretty empty and it tends to draw a certain crowd. Hmm. People like to hang out, paint, smoke, fight. You never know what kind of evening you're gonna have in a place like this. I have one request. Yeah. Be three lovable goofballs, spray paint and some stuff, leave them alone. Do I get the sense that she's telling the whole truth? Hmm. Well. Are you trying to read her tone, her body language, gut instinct? Yeah. I don't think I'd be able to figure out what she's hiding, but just if she's... Make it wits and insight. As you're investigating, Bree answers your question. Um, I don't feed on goofballs. I like that. Yeah. Bree, what hunger are you at? You're at one, right? I'm at one, unless you want me to roll it. You're good. Only one success. Four. Mm. She is unreadable to you. I mean, it is never foolproof trying to divine someone's true intentions, but you do know something, of course, about people who lie for a living, given the profession mm. that you have come from. Yeah. But that's usually in brightly lit boardrooms, not dark tunnels. Forgive me for all the questions. It's just, I'm sure. No, it's aware. fine. I'm in a social uh, mood tonight, I guess. Mm -hmm. A lot of... Never quite can trust another kindred. Uh, that's correct. So what's up? Well, we're here looking for something, and it's supposed to be underneath this building. Ooh, treasure. Eh, you could look at it like that. We're on a treasure hunt. Great. Call me Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Crow is leading you toward the almost cave-like entrance to the underground parking garage that was the first thing that they built. It's all concrete and rebar, but it is dark as the electric lights haven't been hung and connected yet. Crow perches on a large clump of earth that's been piled up here by machines. Huh. Well, there was copper piping here about 30 minutes ago. Mwah. Guess someone got that. Thieves. <laughs> Thieves. Thieves. Thieves indeed, Tooth Sweet. Shiny. Uh, it never shiny. changes. Am I still Love able it. to hear Toots? Absolutely. Fantastic. So, your question? Hmm. No, I mean, it was just... We needed a way under. This seems to be a an access point to underground. Hopefully, it can lead us to where we might be able to find what we're looking for. So how do you know there's buried treasure here? 
We don't. We have a rumor. Ooh. What do you know about the HMS Hussar? Come again. Am I pronouncing that correctly? You are. It's a, a ship. Was a ship. Supposedly oh. lost underneath this area when it used to be water. So you really are pirates. Arr. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't dress like pirates. What's, what's, that's a lot of silk and cashmere, sir. Pirates dress in what they plunder. Oh. Well. I like him. <laughs> I like him too. Well, considering it's going to be rather dark down there, can you see in the dark? She leans close to you, and you see her eyes are blood red. And they begin to glow. With... Isaac activates his. Can everyone mm. fucking do this? No. Wild. I activate Eyes of the Beast. Oh. God damn it. Do you want to just hold hands? Well, I think it would yes. behoove you to hold one of us, <laughs> considering you can't see. If you both Ooh, hold each other's hands, hands, you're going to get lost together. Mm. All right. All right. I slip my arm underneath Isaac's arm. Thanks. So. Bree grabs your hand too. <laughs> All right. Then. We're doing this. Incredible. Let's go and see what we find. Margo shall we? has two escorts to guide her steps. Maybe your shoes won't get quite so ruined. She's like squelching, like, okay. Well, I, I send a text before I go in mm. to Angela saying if we don't come out in two hours, that there is a problem. Mm. She texts back her understanding. Also, let Michael know to grab my jacket. <laughs> I let Michael know. There's a jacket on the fence that needs to be grabbed. Michael texts back his understanding. Who are you talking to? A wooden hanger if he's got it. I don't send that message. <laughs> so what's your whole deal? Me? Yeah. Um, specifically? Oh, I don't know. Just tonight, I guess. Oh, I was kind of hoping I'd be hungry, but... I don't know. This is kind of better. I've never found treasure in this city like this. Hmm. Well, to be fair, we've never found treasure in this city like this before either, so. Hmm. Well, you could say we're <laughs> on our first voyage. Cool. Yeah. We're going to make ship puns the whole fucking time. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, okay. You gotta embrace the vibe. I love a vibe. <laughs> And I extend my thank yous again for letting me join and also letting me stamp on your ground. And mm. as she gestures, you notice that Bree is barefoot. Mm. Oh. A vibe. All right. Huh. The parking garage is a vast cavernous space, the roof upheld by a series of concrete pillars. It is, for those of you without the means to see in the dark. Pitch black down here. Once you leave the entrance behind, it's very difficult to see anything at all except the glowing red eyes of Isaac, Ray, and your new associate. Now, those of you I've just named can see perfectly down here. There isn't much to see, though. It's a parking garage. It just hasn't got any cars in it yet, or any lights, or any other amenities that you might find in such a place. There are a number of doors, of course, that lead to uh, elevators that don't work yet, stairs that do, probably at least one or two maintenance closets for access to machinery, but nothing that looks like what you came here to find. Mm. And that is when the utter blackness is pierced by flashlights that light you up. Those industrial halogen things that are very, very bright. Hey! What are you doing down here? <laughs> Two men dressed in security uniforms are shining these bright lights at you. It's, Difficult to see their features as they point the lights at you. They're really in in darkness behind them, but you can tell that one of them has a pistol pointed at you. 
Okay, everybody, start walking back towards the door, nice and slow. Look, buddy, I'm just here hey! to pick out my parking spot. I didn't ask you, man. Wait, what? What do you mean, parking spot? Are you, you see these down here? These, these, these things, and second. Any, he shines any of his them light look. over there as if you're actually pointing something yep. out to and him. And then that's the moment that's that I'm That's the moment them. you strike. <laughs> Anybody else going in? Yes. Uh, I join by your side. Mm -hmm. um, there are two of them. Are you each choosing one? Or are you tackling the same individual? I think that we are... Yeah. I think there's a bit of a unspoken connection that Ray didn't expect as the uh, mm. strategy plays out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think she follows oh. behind you. Uh, like the moment you leap, she in tandem goes behind and then veers off to sort of flank with you mm -hmm. um, in an attempt to either get the second guard if they notice yeah. or devour this one with you. Mm. Isaac walks up and grabs Vago's hand. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay here. They'll deal with it. Yeah. Okay. Do you still have your arm? Locked yes, I have Sarah? a hold of both of them. <laughs> okay. So, you maneuver quickly, mm. like a pair of wolves, encircling your prey. The flashlights play crazily about your forms and the shadows and the pillars in the darkness. Hmm. Bri, you act first. Yeah. What do you do? Um, if Ray's hesitating on the first... Uh, well, you're a little busy. You can't matter. You can't care what Ray is doing. That's true. What do you want to do? I want the one that spoke. The one who was holding the gun? I want him to shut up. Mm -hmm. How are you going to make him shut up? Are you attacking him? Yeah. Okay, please make a dice pool. Uh, it's strength and brawl for you, unless you were using any of your supernatural powers. Not yet. Not yet. Well, These are just guards. That's six, seven dice, one of which is your hunger die. I'll roll for the security guard. And Ray? I'm you just looking to knock the, that one out. Okay, strength and brawl for you two then. Humane. Wowza. Mm, how many ox? <laughs> well, this is not a good roll, y'all. No. Mm, well, <laughs> don't don't move the dice yet. We'll see if we can improve the situation. Okay. Ray? I only have one success. Okay. Uh, apparently, these security guards are better trained than you anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wish to expend willpower to uh, re-roll any happen. of the dice? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and spend that willpower. Yeah. Okay, so you take a point of superficial willpower damage. You can reroll any of the black dice that came up failures. How's it going? Let me know what you got. We doing good? Now, Bree, no. how many onks did you get? <laughs> I got one onk. One onk. And what's the what's on the hunger die? Uh, the it, it is on the hunger die. Okay, that's still a success, yeah. even though it's on the hunger die. But, Ray? Nothing else. Nothing else. Do you want to redouble your effort? Do you want yes. to spend uh, willpower? Yes. Okay. You can reroll up to three of those black dice that Kay. came up blank. Okay. Any onks there? Two successes. Total or Total. two more? Two more. Hmm. Well, apparently, these security guards have been taking, I don't know, maybe judo classes or uh, <laughs> boxing at the local gym because the attack doesn't go as well as you had hoped. The one with the gun ducks, dodges, weaves, Ugh. and then fires Why straight at you. Why are you so you. sweaty? <laughs> Gets off Couldn't a couple a of shots okay. right in your direction. <sighs> the bullets slam into your undead flesh, <laughs> and thanks to your preternatural fortitude, they don't do much damage to you. They're more irritating than anything, but they do stop you cold in your tracks. He looks really surprised that you just didn't sit down on the floor when those slugs hit you. Ray, the guard you're attacking doesn't have a gun, but he's using his flashlight to block your blows. 
and defend you. He's clearly had some fight training. He is able to damage you by catching you on the side of the head with his flashlight. It's one of those heavy duty aluminum things. Mm -hmm. And you take uh, incoming before you have, after having it would be too superficial. Do you have toughness? You're using toughness? Uh, I haven't activated it yet, but okay. can I make a rouse check so for that? Be, it would be two, well. two superficial points of damage. Yeah. I can tell I can tell You from can the do it on flashes. your next turn though. Okay. Isaac, Seraph, and Margo. Now, Margo and Seraph, all you really see are flashlight beams playing around crazily. You hear gunshots, people being beat up. It's hard to make out detail. From now on, it's probably going to be a good idea that each of you keep a flashlight on you. Ooh, free flashlights. Okay. Isaac, you can, of course, courtesy of your Isaac B, see what's going on. Sounds like you are holding your action for now. I'd prefer not to be shot or get involved, but... I will if I have to, and these two need to not be alone in the dark. Hmm. Okay. The where's the, where's the crow? Where is the crow? Where should it be? It's probably watching the entrance yeah, to the parking it's the garage. Entrance. <sighs> it's, um, it's a quick run over to it if you want to make it. Hmm. We have flashlights on our phones, and I pull out my phone and I turn on my flashlight. <laughs> it is true. Everyone who has a mobile <laughs> phone waiting for you to think about. Yeah, <laughs> has um, a flashlight. I'm getting in there, and I disentangle myself from eyes. Okay. And I Thank run. You. I want to run to the entrance mm -hmm. and say to Toot Sweet, eyes, 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 eyes in there, eyes. Yeah. Nom nom nom. nom, nom. <laughs> the crow gets the picture. Mm-hmm. Margot, yeah. now that you have light. Here we go. Here we go. What's your plan? Um, Bree took two shots, so I'm going to head to that guy. Uh, head over and try to get his attention. Like Security guard with the gun? Yeah. Uh, he shines his light at you. You shine your light at him. <laughs> his is brighter, but you can still see him. <sighs> she didn't. <sighs> Don't move. Points his gun at you now. Gun down. Mesmerize. Ooh. Dominate. The crow flaps its wings and flies into the parking garage toward the battle. Please make a rouse check to uh, rouse that blood. I'm okay? Mm -hmm. I don't get hungrier. Can I search? Yes. You'll have to make another rouse check. Sure. Look, I don't roll bad. And I didn't again. Uh huh. <laughs> so you add two dice to your total, but there is no roll required at this time. Okay. Because he's mortal. Oh, yeah. It just works. Yeah, this does work on people. Fuck! <laughs> okay. What do you, can he I lowers have the gun? The, he lowers the gun. You can see him try not to do what you want, but he can't help it's it. It's okay. And he hands the pistol over to you. We Ray? We shoot friends. And I put it under his chin and pull the trigger. Blam! The shot echoes through the parking garage. He dies. He collapses to the ground, mortally wounded. Mm. It's over in a half a second. Ray, you got yours or you need some need a little backup? As I take, you know, another hit from a flashlight. <laughs> this guy's scrabbling on his belt. <laughs> Trying to get his radio free. <gasps> and I just look at him and go, I am trying so hard to be nice. I'm going to head over. Can I get the eyes of the one that he's fighting with? Uh, Crow is beating you to it. Oh. Crow has <laughs> landed on the rapidly cooling body and begun to feast. Mm. He's got his radio free. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to go for the radio. You want to grapple him? Yeah. Strength and brawl. He's going to try to keep out of your grasp. What's happening with you, Bree? Can I assist in this? You want to help? Yeah. Absolutely. This friend shot me. Hmm. Yes, he did. And you Ten. know what? I'll go ahead and... Nah, I'll just roll it as it is. Uh, let's see. Strength and brawl again for you, Bree. Okay. God 
Dang it. Like, Can I borrow some of your rolls? <laughs> yeah. Too many yeah. Dice. You gotta talk to your okay. boys before you start. Mm -hmm. Three successes. Spending a willpower. You wanna re-roll? Yep. Two successes. Two successes? Five successes. Five successes. Well, between the two of you, you mm. definitely crush any margin he had over you individually, Ray. So uh, even though he manages to evade you, your grapple, and he manages to bring the radio up to his mouth and get off, help! You're behind him, arm around his throat, grabbing the radio, twisting his arm backwards. You've got him grappled and held. Don't be a coward. If you're gonna die, be a man. And I, uh, I grow talons. You grow feral weapons from your fingertips. And I trace them across his neck. Let's be clear. Are you killing him? No. It's a threat. I don't ever want him to speak again. So... You are hurting him. Yes. Badly. Yes. He will lose consciousness very quickly. He might die without medical attention. You're not a doctor, it's hard to say. He already called for help. Hmm. Well, this is a mess. Hmm. Isaac has turned around and walked out of the garage. <sighs> All right. Let's find another hole. We got some bodies to get rid of, don't we? This has been quite an evening. And you can see that she is tying where her shirt is now ripped from the bullet holes. She's just tying it shut. I really like this shirt too. Let's uh, <sighs> check some convictions here. Ray. Mm-hmm. You successfully resisted the temptation to be the beast. You stayed the human. Yeah, so and look how successful I was. You have maintained your humanity. Margo. Yeah. Your convictions about your family and protecting the Bronx don't seem to apply here. But the Chronicle tenants for both of you, and for Bree, justice must be served and stand your ground. Well, you stood your ground, but was it justice? Was it just? It's a question that we can answer at a later time when things are calmer. In the meantime, as I say, you have a mess. Isaac has walked toward the entrance. Doesn't take long to reach it. What about you, Seraph? I follow Isaac out. Follow Isaac out. Marco. I'm gonna take the radio uh, and turn it off off of the guy I shot. Take his radio and his flashlight. Take the radio, turn it off, and take his heavy duty, very bright flashlight. And then I follow. Ray? Ray's still down on the ground where the last guard was and just says we didn't need to kill anybody his heart's still beating can't you feel it his isn't no but you didn't pull the trigger <sighs> what's wrong We all fight being monsters every night. <laughs> just, it just feels like you let it win every now and then when something like this happens. That's life. You yeah, I didn't sick. say it was, uh, you know, easy or fair. It just sucks when it happens. I, I want to fish in uh, the pockets. I want to find his wallet. The Easily one that was done. shot. What's that? Easily done. Yeah. Um, I pull out his ID. 
I hand it to you. His name's Brian. If you want to send flowers to his family, make yourself feel better. I'll add him to the list. Hmm. I take the cash. Wasn't much there. People tend to use plastic these days. I don't need a lot. Okay. At the Shall entrance we? to the parking garage. Isaac is scanning the rest of the um, uh, the area to see if anyone came running after multiple gunshots and a help escaped on the radio. What you can see from the entrance to the garage is that the crane has stopped operating. And you do not see the people who are working in that part of the construction site any longer. We need to be more careful. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was great. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks. No problem. We should leave. Is this bad? Is this bad for you guys? Yes. We should leave. Do you need a distraction? Oh. We haven't found the treasure yet. We haven't, but there's not really many other entrances in here, so if we're going up, we're likely to run into somebody else. You may have been fortunate. Gunshots deep underground in the parking garage might have gone unnoticed, at least for now. Radio calls for help, though? Mm. Bullet wounds in a body, though? Well, well, of course, when those bodies are found, there will did be you, a great deal of attention. Did you um, take care of those bodies? So you're just going to leave them? No, we're not going to just leave them. Well, what are you going to do? You killed them. You need to take care of them. What if we made it look like they killed each other? Mm, that's going to be difficult, considering the wounds that were applied. Yeah. I don't know what to do. How do you... I don't, I've never hit a body before. What you should really <sighs> consider that before you kill. I Tell say... You, you find a hole. Look. Look. We are looking for a ship full of bodies that have never been found. So you want That's to drag the corpses cheaper. around them with us until we find that ship? At least a little bit further. At least beyond where the development is. Great. Then go get them. What the hell is going on here? Ay ay ay. I turn around. Who is it? It's two more people. A man and a woman. The man is dressed in a dress shirt, but he's smart enough to wear work boots with his suit slacks. Mm. He's got a hard hat, big clipboard, huge key ring with, I don't know, maybe 20 keys on it. The woman next to him is dressed in coveralls, work boots, and a hard hat. And the name of the construction company is sewn on her coveralls. Well, I, look, I keep telling you people, it'll be finished when it's finished. You can't I'm terribly You just can't sorry. walk in here and examine your future look, home. Taken, you know, it's taken a little too long. Look. Hey, look, talk to the developers. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm just a night shift for You see, my boss here is very frustrated. He's yeah, very impatient. Yeah, everybody's very frustrated. You all right? Uh, I'm fine. She's just upset. I like the hat. Thanks. <laughs> so, I mean, look. I don't know what to tell you. It's done when it's done. Look, I apologize look, for getting yeah. in your we, way this evening. I, I mean, you guys aren't reporters, are you? We moved that stuff. It's all safe. <laughs> Which stuff? <laughs> Remind me. Who are you, people? Remind me which stuff. Yeah, the stuff. The stuff um, we found. The, uh, you know, the uh, <clears throat> bones. Uh, you know, normally uh, we would call the proper authorities when uh, bones or bodies are discovered at a, a construction site during a routine excavation. But, um, you know, that didn't happen because uh, he taps the clipboard. Schedules, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. Where did you put them? In the warehouse. Where's the warehouse? Uh, he points vaguely in the direction of the neighborhood. Shipping warehouse, Atlas. Thank you. Do you have a number for the shipping 
Which warehouse is it on the lot? Where is the address? What is it? I mean, yeah. I'm. It just, don't you have a phone? I do. So, I want to make sure I'm getting the right place. Pulls out his phone and pulls up a map with the address and the location on it. And shows it to you. Atlas Shipping is a warehouse that you saw on your first night tour of your neighborhood. The shipping warehouse that doesn't look like it's ever shipped anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, look, uh, it's all there. Everything's intact. We plan to report it and turn it over as soon as the job is done. I That's promise. Fair. That's fair. Thank so, you for the information. Are you going to help with any of this? <clears throat> Just... Wow, rude. Let the lady speak. Remember, uh, if you would please, and he looks at both of them, him first. Return to your work and tell no one we were here, mesmerize. They're human and they're not gonna resist. Did you make a rouse check? First rouse check, Mm -hmm. fine. Second rouse check, fine. Yeah, time to get back to it. Look, uh, show yourselves out. You can't be around here without a helmet. A I appreciate hat. it. I mean, it's, you know, we're going to get in trouble. We'll, we'll get fined. <laughs> so, Understood. It'll be done when it's done, I promise. That's fine. Have a good night. Good night. Be That's safe out there. They turn and walk back in the direction of the cranes. Well, now we have a treasure map. Now we have a treasure map. <laughs> you all have a very interesting dynamic, you know that? Mm. Been friends for a while or very little? What's your read on it? I'm sensing and smelling a lot of hostility. Did you guys have a fight tonight? We're all a warming s- to each other. <laughs> Look at your arms. Come on, relax. Are you going to take care of those bodies now? Can I smell if there's like fresh concrete somewhere just poured? Because they need to be taken care of. Hmm. It's a construction site. Yeah. And your crow is probably the best scout available to you. Hey, it toots. wouldn't be hard to find. Fresh concrete, my sweet. You got it. Let's slay some more bones for them to find in the distant future. Unless we want to take one to the hospital. (sighs) Look. This is not a judgment. I'm being serious. You seem very conflicted. It doesn't take long for your crow to return to let you know where to look for what you want. All right. We have a burial spot. How many bones are going in the ground? There's only one set of bones going in the ground. And I'll take the other guy up on my back and start to walk out. I'll go get the corpse. Margo, you're helping Bree. While that is happening, Mm. Seraph and Isaac are doing what? I'm gonna go with Ray. Gonna go with Ray. Remember that that man has seen all of our faces. So when he regains consciousness, he remembers who we are and that we were here. Just so you're aware. The body disappears the wet cement, which will soon be dry. It's like it was never here. (sighs) Ray, what do you do with the wounded security card? Still alive, as far as you can tell. Yeah, I don't know yet. I'm just walking. If you can just trying to keep someone alive. You don't have medical training, so... You can try a rudimentary first aid. Taken back out by the fence. 
Yeah. There are two other options available to you. It, yeah. Any options I can think of. You've had a recent discussion about ghouls. And it is possible that the properties of the vitae in your vampiric body could work their supernatural trick on him and maybe save his life. But that carries with it additional complications. The other is what happened to you. <laughs> I said that I wanted him alive. So you've only given me one option. You're not sure how long he'll live. I... You could, in fact, of course, call for an ambulance and leave him where he would be found. You could take him to a hospital. I lay him down against one of the walls. Seraph still with was, me? Yeah. It was dark. He didn't really see us all that great. Oh, he had a flashlight. He looked at all of us. But a lot of people see things. I'm just saying, don't let what Isaac said. I'll give a slice to my wrist <laughs> and kind of hold it towards him and give one look at Seraph and be like, This is one way we make sure that he says what we want him to say and that he stays alive. I'm gonna go. And to leave Ray on his own to do it. <sighs> Bree, where are you? Um, I'm uh, have you, with Mar uh, Margo. You have finished disposing yeah. of the body. Thanks. Yeah. So what was that? I was gonna be coy. Look, I think I don't like being told what to do very much. Yeah. Hey, that's not a bad trait. Means you don't take shit. No, I don't think I do. Your friend's really sensitive. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He's a... He's a good guy. How long have you been like this? Whew. A little over three years. Does it get easier? Well, depends on which part. The hunger? Never. But, I mean, we all get dealt a card, and we can play it how we wish. This is who I am, and I fucking love it, because no one can tell me what the fuck to do. No one can prey on me because that is what I do. And I don't take that for granted, okay? I think I cut you off and kiss you. Oh, I kiss you right back. <laughs> mm. You share a moment. Uh, sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I like people that know what they want. Feels good, right? Better than sex. <laughs> there are a lot of things better than sex. <laughs> That's the most interesting thing you've said to me all night. <laughs> it's at this point that your crow finds you, Bree. Hey. Lands on your shoulder to whisper in your ear. People, 
people, people, people, people, people, people, people, people, people. Okay. I take your hand. Grab right And I push on like the small of your back. People, people, people. Yeah. She is happily led out way. As far as you can tell, Margo, the crow is just making crow noises. Yeah. Squawk, caw, caw. Ray. Your vitae does what you wanted it to do. You can tell that he's going to make it. He may not wake up immediately, but when he does, he'll be changed. Before I leave, grab his name tag. It will be easy for you to find him again. That's it. So. Regrouping at the van or elsewhere? Isaac is standing on the corner where we came in, waiting for everyone to finish what they were doing. Ray's coat is still hanging there. I like her. Mm. I don't like him. Good kisser. And a good kid. That's interesting. I like them all. <laughs> oh, yeah? You don't usually like people. You're going soft on me, too. Take that back. Okay. I we gotta go. We, got, we really gotta go. We really gotta go. Okay. Thank you. Have you all finished? Mm -hmm. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Great. Do you want to ride or would you prefer the walk? Walk. Thanks. I'll take the ride. I'll grab my coat mm -hmm. off of the fence. Sarah? I'll go with Margo. Great. It was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, see you on the other side. Yes. Don't get caught. That's what I'm good at. So let me understand, are we going separate ways? It sounds like we are. It sounds like Ray and Isaac and your employees, Isaac, mm -hmm. are leaving in your vehicle and going elsewhere. It yeah. sounds like Margot and Seraph are doing something else. I just don't feel like being in that fucking minivan right now. Me mm. And you're sticking around with them for a bit longer, Brie? Yeah, why right? not? Uh, I at least, when you kiss a girl, you gotta at least walk her home, right? Oh my gosh. Very well. Hmm. Where to, sir? Is there anywhere you need to go? Me? No, I'm sorry. No. No. We going to this warehouse or what? We can, but that might be a job for all of us. I believe the other two need some time to work out what happened. Doesn't necessarily have to be tonight that we find these things. What, around what time is it? Mm -hmm. It's after midnight, around one. You have a few hours until the sun's up. Decisions, decisions. Um, While you're thinking about it, there's a walk. You're out on the streets, of the South Bronx late. Some would say this is not a great part of town to be walking in at night, but they're not vampires who say that. I, uh, I, I punch uh, a wall. Okay. Are you? Fair enough. This is a very bad first impression. I apologize. Hey, I'm not gonna judge anybody for impulses. They happen. <laughs> 
What's got you so stoned? I saw something I really didn't want to see. When? Ray, he gave that, I think, I assume, he gave that man his blood. He did? Oh. He wanted to help. I'm so sorry, Seraph. I didn't do it. Oh, I know, but I know about your own. You mentioned. Mm hmm. Yeah. My mom's a ghoul. My condolences. Thank you. But not for much longer. If I have any say in it. What are you planning on doing? I'm not sure. But I can't do it by myself. So I gotta stick around. I just, I just didn't think it was going to be like this. Yeah. I thought it'd be fun. I don't know why I thought that. But I did. Yeah. It can be. It was. It doesn't have to stop. You get to choose how you feel about everything. You want it to be fun? Make it fun. If you don't, stop doing those choices. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard. How long you been? Three. Hmm? Three. Okay. You had a teacher? Good. You never want a teacher. <laughs> I uh, pull out the journal from my backpack. Mm-hmm. Um, and I show it to Bree and I ask her if she knows the language. It's mm. a brown leather writing journal. Paper is unlined. Most of it's filled. It looks like someone's been writing in it for quite some time, possibly years. Mm. The writing is in a language that you recognize but don't read. Got it. And that language is Greek. Mm. Not the ancient Greek of the alphabet, but... Yeah. Modern Greek. It's also illustrated there. Are sketches, very good sketches, some in colored pencils or pens, of people, different places, places in distant lands. Hmm. Travel journal, maybe? Hmm. No, I didn't go to a very good school. This isn't um, quite my bag, but uh, honestly, the pictures are really nice. Um, They're the best. I'm, I'm assuming they're not yours. They could have been. But judging by the paint on your fingers, you're an artist. Mm, you smell like creativity. Thank you. I haven't been very inspired lately. Why is that? <sighs> I just wanted to be free. You are, aren't you? There's some things that I need to take care of. And once mm. they're taken care of, then I can be free. You're very tethered, aren't you? All of you. You have no idea. <sighs> See, this is why not having a teacher is better. I slammed the journal closed and I put it back in my backpack. You're a crow. Yeah. Bobs its head up and down impatiently. Yeah. Time. I know. Time. I know. Okay. Time, 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 time. Meet, 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 meet. Mm, okay. Okay. Meet time. Okay. Give me a second to say goodbye. Bye bye. Okay. You said yours. My turn. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for the eyes. You're welcome. <laughs> One more. He says bye. <laughs> I curtsy. You're so cute. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, you flying up that street light, give me some privacy. It does as asked. I activate Cloak of Shadows. So I can give them some privacy. <laughs> One moment, she's there. 
What the, the next fuck? moment, she's not. Can everyone do that? Maybe she stepped around a corner. Who knows? Christ. I grab you, dip you. Huh. And you feel my nails on the back of your neck. I activate Blush of Life. Rouse check. See if you're hungry. Nope, still good. Still good. The blood mm. suffuses your skin, your eyes, your lips. It's glorious. She blushes, and you can feel her go warm in your grip. I lean in and I smell you. It's really hard out here, I know. And, uh, Toot Sweet likes you, so. If you guys ever need help. Or are looking for some fun. And then I go in for the mouth. Yeah. She absolutely wraps herself around you and kisses back. Seraph, of course, you see their clinch <laughs> and the kiss. I'm happy for him. Figure it out. I'm trying. I'll find you again. Yeah. For fun. And own your mistakes. Or own your actions and regret nothing. Whatever you do, just be true to fucking you. Okay? Okay. You're really shiny. I like it. She, as she's just walking back into the thing, um, she, she's sort of ducking back into an alley as her feet just slowly start reaching natural earth um, off the sidewalk and her toes sink into the dirt. She goes, keep an eye on him for me, will ya? And <laughs> she sucks underneath the ground. It's astonishing. She simply sinks into the grassy dirt next to the sidewalk. I make myself visible again. How the f- Ah! Jesus Sorry. Christ. I have got to get cooler powers. You've got very cool powers. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, wait. Where were you? Did you? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nasty. Thanks. While in the van, SUV, um, so, what did you do? How did you fix it? Before that, that question, what? Hey, Michael. Sir. Can he ever make you normal again? Michael is driving, and his eyes search for yours in the rearview mirror, as if to ask, should I answer? I'm not asking him, I'm asking you. Can don't, he make you normal? Again? I don't work for you. You can't order me around. You can't order me to do anything, sir. But you can ask. That is what I'm fucking doing. You can answer him, Michael. My understanding is that should he decide not to allow me a drink at least once every month or so that I will be as I was. That's not what I want. It gets a little complicated the longer they exist with you. Like I'm not asking what you want, I'm asking if it's possible. It's absolutely possible. If you don't give him any more blood, he'll just revert back to how he was. Now, I offer you all, the three of you, an intense amount of hospitality. You are never to speak to Michael like that again. You are to respect the fact that I let you into my house and I have shared all of these things with you. Believe me. With more respect than you deserve and less respect than I'm capable of. You don't control me. I don't but I expect you to be polite. 
I did nothing to you this evening. Everything that happened, you three did on your own. I did not lift a finger to cause any problems. I watched all of you do that on your own. Why are you mad at me? Look, this is not the situation I thought I'd find myself in. Neither is it mine. But I'm making the best of it. I hate to break it to you, but some of us just have more of a problem with looking on the bright side. There is no bright side. We lost the bright side. We don't get to be in the sun anymore. There isn't a bright side to anything. You just have to be okay with living in the dark. And if you're not, that's a problem. Yeah, I'm learning that. You saved his life. You can never talk to him again, although he will look for you. And he will go back to normal in about a month. But if you feel some sort of responsibility to him, you may want to look him up and speak to him. Although he will want to please you and to do whatever you say. It would, if you don't want the responsibility of taking care of him, it is best to just let him revert back to normal. What, you're saying you don't want a security guard in the new uh, high rise? I choose my servants very particularly. I don't want him. It's a lot to think about. A lot to weigh. Trying to find the line every night between the human and the beast is hard enough, but it almost seems like the knight is determined to make that process even harder than it has to be. So, with these thoughts on our conscience, this seems like an excellent place to pause our vampire story for now. 